so today I've got my first impressions of the new La Roche Posay UV Moon, UV Moon Shaka uh, sunscreen, which is their newer version uh, compared to their older version. So I picked this up, uh, I don't know, it came about a week ago or so, so I've had a chance to play with it. So uh, the bigger, biggest difference is, so they mentioned in the old version of the Shaka that there were some people that were getting reddening. And a little bit of freckles because there was a little bit of a gap in the uh, protection, the UVA protection of this one. So they're including their newest filter, which is uh, in this one. They have a, this is the fragrance free version. They have their regular version with fragrance. They also have a tinted version, which I believe also has fragrance in it. And then they also have a cream, which I haven't played with yet. Anyway, so I'm just going to talk about the Shaka because I really love this one. Uh, it's a really good one uh, in general. I like that they have a fragrance free option. The tinted option, in my opinion, is a little too dark unless they changed it in the newest version. Um, but anyway, so they've got some information on the black back of the box where they talk about the uh, UVA filters that the old version kind of missed. And some people had some issues with uh, reddening and freckles. So this one is supposed to be better. The old version had a uh, PPD they mentioned like 46, which is pretty strong for UVA filters. So it kind of surprised me that there's that big of a gap. I didn't have any issues with reddening or freckles, but some people did, so they include their new filter. So this one now includes eight total filters, um, and no mention of the PPD level of the new version. I don't know if they're going to publish it or not, or maybe uh, mention it later. I don't know. So if we've got eight filters in here, we've got Oxalate, UVB Ray Absorber, Tinserb S, a very photostable filter that does uh, all the UVB and UVA rays. Uh, we've got Juvenal T150, uh, UVB filter. Avobenzone, not my favorite filter, but anyway, uh, UVA ray absorber. Then we've got their new filter, which goes by the name of methoxyprolamino cyclohexylidine ethyl hexylcyanacetate, or something like that. New filter, photostable, protects against the whole UV, v, UV, pers, UV spectrum with improved UVA1 protection that the former uh, Shaka formula missed. And I've got two uh, research articles on it, one from PubMed and one from the uh, Scientific Committee on Research for Consumer Safety. So I'll link to those which have more information about this. I've also got Juvenile A+, Plus, UVA Ray Absorber, Mexoral XL. It's another L'Oreal uh, exclusive filter with UVB and UVA protection. And then finally, we've got uh, Mixoral SX, which is a, the other L'Oreal uh, agent, which protects the UVA range. I would say this one's pretty friendly for acne-prone skin, only two ingredients of note, uh, vitamin E and triethylamine. So pretty friendly. It does contain denatured alcohol, which for me, for some sunscreens, I actually am starting to kind of not mind it so much. So anyway, so I thought I'd apply this to half of my face and then apply the old version to half my face and see. In my opinion they feel the same. They really don't feel any different. There's no white cast um, and anything like that. So maybe I'll apply this one to my, so the new version is on my forehead. That's easier to do than half your face. And then I'll put this one on my eyes and down, the old version. But uh, now after testing it, it feels just the same. It, Kind of smells the same. Some people mention the fragranced version has more of a jasmine scent to it than the older fragrance version. So I don't know if that matters to you, but there we go. So my forehead is the new version. The bottom down is the old version, and I find it wears nicely throughout the day. It doesn't really get super greasy or oily. It's in the middle of winter, so I haven't had to reapply it. That hasn't been an issue yet because um, it's like negative 15 Fahrenheit out. Um, so anyway, it feels nice. I just applied over uh, my Bioma moisturizer. New brand, I'm really liking it. So really enjoying that. So anyway, so far it seems like a winner. I guess I'll get to really test it when it's not super cold out and there's actually real sun out and real sweating and things like that, but it uh, seems to work nicely, doesn't get oily throughout the day, doesn't really accentuate dry patches or anything like that. Seems to work just the same under foundations and uh, uh, BB creams and things like that. So anyway, so far enjoying it. With eight filters, if their old version was indeed a PPD of 46, this one has to be even higher than that with that uh, 
enhanced UVA protection. So anyway, so interesting. So I think that new filter also uh, is there. So in this sunscreen, they've got three L'Oreal proprietary filters in there. So kind of interesting. Um, anyway, so same, same, uh, similar price seems everything else seems to be similar. So, uh, everything I like about it is the same. And I guess we've got better protection, which is always a good thing. So, and UVA rays are the ones that wrinkle and damage our skin. UVB ones are the ones that burn us. So you really want to protect yourself against UVA, uh, rays. I mean, it won't stop aging. Aging is going to happen. It might make you age a little bit better, but a lot of it really comes down to genetics. But sunscreen is always going to be the only real anti-aging protection ingredient formula product that exists. So might as well indulge and use it, uh, especially if you find one that works well for you. So anyway, those are my initial thoughts on the new La Roche-Posay UV Moon sunscreen. So interesting hearing from you guys if you've had a chance to check it out yet uh and if you want me to let you know where i got this in the u.s uh you can maybe email me it's in my about page i just don't want to put the company that did it totally on blast in my video because i don't want them to get in trouble for sending these to the u.s because uh, sometimes i think it becomes an issue especially with la roche posay they're very uh they're very stubborn about where they send this to so anyway my thoughts love hearing from you guys and i will see you more tomorrow okay bye thanks